said it. You just have to believe it, and that's it. Dr. Anthony L. Trice, dedicated to sound teaching, strong training, leadership, and development. Prayers are being answered and testimonies all around the world. Helping change one life at a time. Find out how to be a partner with Anthony Trice Ministerial Network. And thank you for tuning in for today's message. People making excuses. And you are still bad with And you don't have to stand before God. I'd rather stand for as my Savior before my church. You don't believe that. What I just said. You're going to have to stand up before God and give an account for your life one day. And what we do, we put that in the back of the mask. But it's going to happen 20 years from now. It can happen to you. All you do is don't wake up. Have you noticed we don't have no control over death? And I've just been amazing to me. Everybody that's been dying lately, they've been dying in their sleep. Without a cause. What happened to her? I don't know how old she 20. You ready to take that risk? You want to take that risk? That's too big of a risk for me. Okay, let's go to 1 Peter 3.18. Know what this boils down to? Sacrifice. You, you keep living for yourself, or you can make a decision to live for God. And if you make a decision to live for God, there's going to be a commitment. Just like you're committed to drugs, just like you're committed to alcoholism, just like you're committed to homosexuality, all the things you're committed to, you got to make the same commitment to Christ. Yeah. Amen. Once you make that commitment to Christ, then deliverance takes place. Ain't, ain't no way I'm, the, I'm committed to my wife and I got a girlfriend. Uh, e e either, I, I can't say I'm committed to her and I got someone on the side. No, I ain't committed to her. But if I'm committed to her, it don't matter who else comes. Because I'm locked in on her. It's the same thing with life. I'm locked in to being saved. So I ain't got time for other stuff. So we can do it. We, you just don't want to. Because some of us are, 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 what word I want to use? Strung out on drugs. Amen. Some folks strung out on alcoholism. You can be strung out on Christ. Amen. Amen. All that effort you put into smoking dope, all that effort you put into chasing some man, all that effort you put into doing whatever you're doing, you can put the same energy to serve God. Amen. But that's not important to you because serving Be with one woman, and I'm used to three. <laughs> it's a sacrifice for me to give up this woman, and I'm a woman too, because it feels good for me to be another woman. Because it's popular. So I'm going to stay with this woman, even though I know that this is not pleasing to God. But I'm going to stay with her because I'm, I'm, it feels good because. All, all men are dogs because every man I had hurt me. So now I'm so hurt, I got to turn to women. <laughs> and we, that, that's a lifestyle. We deserve by stroking that. <laughs> that, that don't know, it's, 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 it's cute. <laughs> don't matter deal with that. If you my child and you gay, I'm going to love you, but I'm going to deal with it. <laughs>
they would be preachers and preachers. Well, this ain't how this Christian life is. That's why y'all ain't saved. I got to have me a man. No, you don't. I got to have me a woman. No, you don't. You choose to have one. And if you don't have one, it's only one way to have her. Listen, I ain't gonna deal with you because I did the same thing. That's why I can deal with it. I did the same thing. The stuff I'm preaching about, I did the same thing. So I'm looking back. I had to make a decision. When God was drawing me and he saved me, I had to give up all this stuff. Because I realized it was sin. And it hurt. Listen, for six and a half years, I went to work, church. You know why? God was detoxing me. That was a sacrifice for six years for me not to do the stuff I was used to doing. It took discipline. So now I eventually got free from drugs and alcohol and being with more than one woman. That cost me something. Although now it's been 27 years later and it's still costing me something. Because once you get free, you have to love and stay free. It's more than you just coming to the altar. Because I'm having an altar call day, and I know some of y'all are going to stroll down here. <laughs> and when you leave the altar, you're going right back into the same stuff you've been doing. Amen. You know why? Because it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt your soul for you to come out of what you went to. That's the price, right? I'd rather pay that price than to die. I'd have to pay that price for eternity. I'm breaking this down. You're not going to leave out and say, I didn't know what he said. I didn't understand it. The only way you live out here don't understand it, you don't want to. Amen. Amen. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm bothered by the preachers that's making y'all think it's okay to do what you're doing. They're making it easy for you. This ain't easy. They make you seem like, you just come and say, I'm sorry, and that's it. No, it has to be a lifestyle change. They too hard. But go over there with they let you do what you want to do. That ain't no problem with me. I want to cry like everybody else. But I'm not finna compromise to get it. I ain't finna do it. I fear God more than I fear you. Why stop thinning it out? Because folk don't want the truth. They want the truth. I can't worry about the standing out. <laughs> church, they preach for 20 minutes. Then after church, they got a place where you can go and pour their drink in the church. I'm waiting for them to do it here to do it out there. Thou fool! This stuff going on in churches. You got eight churches, so you got to hurry up. All your preach 30 minutes here. They got five other services. That's what's going on in this city. Uh, ah, let me deal with this. Let me, I, I leave y'all alone. I leave y'all alone. You got guys that can sing, but they gay. And you know they gay. But you know they bring the house down. So I'm not going to deal with them. I'm going to let them sing. They can continue to live a perverted lifestyle. Man, God gonna get you. Yeah. He's gonna get you. Yeah. It's more important for you to sing than to sing than you to say, young man, you gotta get your life straight. Yeah. Have a seat till you get it together. Yeah. And we ain't doing that. We are compromising. Yeah. Church of Laodicea, lukewarm church. Yeah. Yeah. I don't wanna get off of that. Let me, let me get back to this. Yeah. Jesus paid it all. For Christ also have once suffered for sin. Watch this. So Christ has suffered, but you ain't got to suffer. 
We all done. Read. 15 and 3. 1 Corinthians 15 and 3. Okay. I delivered unto you. This is Paul. He's writing to the church of Corinth. Read. First of all. First of all. That which I also received. Watch this. Paul is saying, I can't give it to you until I get it myself. How are we trying to win the world and we ain't even got it? That, that, that's a contradiction. No wonder the church is not concerned about reaching out. Because I'm not concerned about getting people saved as lost because I'm lost myself. Read. How that Christ died. How that what? Right. That's the payment right there. Death, death was the payment. Death was the payment for your sins. Yeah. That's why he died. This ain't about no Easter buddy. Oh, and no chocolate. Right. And Easter. Because Easter ain't even in the Bible. Passover is in the Bible. Yeah. Easter is a pagan holiday. Okay. Read. For our sins. For why did he die? For our sins. That means he paid your sin debt. Your present, future, and past sins are already paid when you get in Christ. Amen. Even though I'm saved, I sin, he's already forgiven me. All I do is repent. Amen. Read. According to the scripture. Everything that happened was according to the scripture. Watch this. Buddha did not die and get up. Amen. Muhammad did not die and get up. Amen. So what makes Jesus different from everybody else? He died and he got up. But well, I don't see him. Well, he not here in the flesh. He's in the spirit. How do you know he's in the, here in the spirit? Because I can feel him. How do you know he's here in the spirit? Because when something happens, he moves for me. When I need a door open, he opens the door. When I need a way made, he do what? When I need to be healed, he touches me. When I need a sense of direction, he speaks to me. What's that called? Relationship. Watch this. I just, I just explain something to you. Alcoholism is a spirit. Perversion is a spirit. Homosexuality. Murder. Yeah. All the stuff that we are seeing in the natural realm, they are motivated by spirits. But you can't see spirits until, until they open up your eyes. You can't see spirits because you're blind. Watch this. I'm all right now. Read. Is that it? Okay. And that no, no. And that he died for all. Second Corinthians 5 and 15. That he died for who? Oh. Some of us. Oh. He died for everybody. Yeah. Read. They which live should not henceforth live unto themselves. Here it is right here. When I get saved, I no longer can live to satisfy myself. That's the problem right there. That's the problem. You got to give up your, your, your stuff. You got to give up. You got to give up your way. And that's hard for me. It was hard for me until he opened up my eyes and showed me my spiritual condition. Read. But unto him which died for them. Watch this. It's just like cancer. If you go to the doctor, let's back up. Say something going on with your body and you don't know what it is, and you just continue to allow it to go on, and you never find out what's going on with you. You know something going on, but you don't want to go to the doctor. And the reason why you don't want to go to the doctor is because you really don't want to know what's wrong with you. And, and, and it's amazing how people live like that. You're 50 years old, and your head about to bust, you don't want to go to the doctor? Keep on getting some sock and some onions, tell I'm going to smell it. <laughs> This is my point. So you go to the doctor and you find out you got cancer. You got two choices. 
deal with the cancer or don't deal with it, just go ahead and die. If I decide I'm going to deal with this cancer, that means I'm going to have to do something. I know you got some options. They give you uh, chemo. Uh, it's some other things you probably can do. Or I can just say, I'm going to leave the cancer alone and I'm going to go ahead and die. It's the same thing with sickness. You come to church to find out nothing we can deal. Because I've seen myself, I've did stuff I shouldn't have done. But my point is this. You come to church to find out your spiritual state. Once you find out what state you're in spiritually, then you got to make a decision to do something about it. So I can stay in sin, or I can choose to come out of it. If I choose to come out of it, out of it that means I have to do something. Well, one of the things you got to do is you can't live to yourself. Or I can choose to stay in it and just keep doing my thing. You got to make a choice. Watch this, read. And rose again. Okay, and rose again. Last scripture. St. John 3, 16. Read. We all know it. It's up on the screen. Read. For God so loved the world. So, so God did what? Love the world. I said love is what type of word? Action. How do we know he loved the word? Next verse. That he gave his only begotten son. He did something. Love is action. What did he do? He gave. What did he give? His only begotten son. Son. Say payment. payment. That's the payment. You can't get no gas without a payment. You can't get any food without a payment. A whole bunch of stuff you can't do without payment. Right? It's the same thing with your salvation. A payment has to be made. What was the payment? He gave his what? He didn't get an Easter basket, the Easter bucket. Y'all understand what I'm saying?
let me say this. It's only one way, and that's his way. The right way is what? His way. The wrong way is what? Let me, let me, let me help you out. Let me help you out. I was single for five and a half years. I wanted a wife. You know how long I had to wait? Five and a half years. Now I've had for 21 years. my life, I've had to wait for it. I've had to pay a price for it. Now, I have what God wants me to have. You know why you keep getting stuff that, that, that you shouldn't, that, that I good for you? Because you ain't his way. Because his way requires a sacrifice. And you don't want that. You want it now. I want it now. That's why you keep running to all these men that ain't no good. Let me say it again. <laughs> That's why you keep running to all these folks that ain't no good. C can I say this? No, I don't have all the problems y'all got. You know why? Somebody say what? I made up in my mind. I'm going to do it his way. Dr. Anthony L. Trice is determined to take the gospel around the world to a people that are hurting mentally, physically, and financially. Your prosperity is in your seat. God has shown him how to be prosperous, successful, and with integrity. Ecclesiastes 10 and 19, money answered all things. We would like you to partner with us. Help us spread the word of God. Sign up as a monthly partner today and take advantage of this special offer. For a love token of $30 plus shipping and handling, you will receive this prosperity package, which includes your prosperity is in your seed, a powerful teaching CD, and prosperity oil. All partners will receive a monthly CD, newsletter, and much, much more. For more information, call 314-659-8522 or visit us online at www.anthonytrice.org. You can write to us at 7200 West Forest, St. Louis, Missouri, 63136. And we thank you for your support. Hey, that was a powerful, awesome word from the Lord. I would like to thank you for tuning into our television broadcast on today. We, hey man, God is doing some awesome things here in this ministry. Our members are being delivered, they're being healed, they're experiencing financial breakthrough. And I want you to experience that same anointing that's on this ministry in your life by partnering with me here at Anthony Trice Ministry. You can go to my website at anthonytrice.org and become a monthly partner. God bless you. Thank you for watching today's broadcast. If ever in St. Louis area, please come visit Covenant for Life Christian Center at 7200 West Forsen, St. Louis, Missouri, 63136. Or give us a call at 314-659-8522. For more information on how to get connected, write to us or visit us online at anthonytrice.org. And we thank you for your continued support.